It's good news for all Christian health workers around the country. Starting this week, around 361 workers will be on the government's payroll system. The launch was witnessed by health workers who attended the 52nd annual conference this week at the Crown Hotel in Port Mosby. Secretary for the Department of Prime Minister acknowledged the health workers for their commitments and sacrifices in providing much-needed healthcare services in the remote areas of the country. Despite the hardships, the challenges, despite the lack of attention that a lot of you are working under, despite the risks that you face on a daily basis, you have continued to serve this country in the most remote parts relentlessly. And I want to acknowledge the dedication and commitment of all church health workers across the country. This group here, the Catholic Health Services, the country's health is not making a lot of progress and it won't be unless we are able to empower the church health workers and support them. The leadership of this government is behind this. And that statement is a recognition. That statement is a recognition of the significant development that significant contribution rather that our churches have made to the health sector. Despite the hardships and challenges faced, they continue to serve the people. The chairman for Christian Health Service Chaplis Kayok expressed his sincere appreciation to the current government for making this possible. System to express our sincere appreciation and make a very special mention of the presence of the Office of the Prime Minister, Honorable James Marape, uh, representing him, Mr. Hyven. Uh, thank you for your presence. And Dr. Osmond Liko. Uh, from the Department of Health and of course our Bishop uh, Dr. Urami. Please, you all can have a big hand on it. Our Christian After the launch, representatives from each region were presented with gifts as a token of appreciation for the tireless efforts over the past years. Estagane, National MTV News.